In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at using Photoshop to export our completed album layouts into a PDF format that we could then email uh, to our clients or they could download from our website a preview of their completed album. And it's a really uh, great option because nearly every computer on the planet, whether PC or Mac, has some type of PDF viewer application. So the PDF format is a great format, and we can actually accomplish that right here inside Photoshop. So as it relates to us as programmers, there's no point in reinventing the wheel. We just need to educate uh, our customers how to use Photoshop to accomplish the task. So once we've completed all of our layouts, we're going to have a bunch of layered Photoshop files. And once we've completed those files, let's go ahead and close this out and let's go into bridge and all I'm going to do right here is where I have those completed files is I'm going to select those files that I want to be part of my PDF document and then here in Photoshop uh, I'm using Photoshop CS5 up here there's an option to change our workspace and we're going to go to the output workspace now this would be true on both CS4 and CS5 in earlier versions of Photoshop we still have the PDF output option but what you'll do is you'll go into Photoshop and choose the file menu automate and then PDF presentation so it's a little bit different in the early versions but you still have the same basic options but in CS4 they kind of switched the output options as it relates to PDFs and web galleries here in Bridge. I guess they thought it made more sense and I'm it's slowly growing on me. I was used to doing it in Photoshop and now we just have to do it in Bridge. So what we've done here of course is we've selected um, our three files that we want to be part of our PDF presentation and I've actually created a preset so once you've once you've determined what you want your PDF presentation to look like you can actually save it and use it again and again so let me just show you a basic presentation first and then we'll go in to bridge here and output it so let me show you one option here so when we open up this PDF file it'll give me this warning because I designed this to open in full screen view which you'll probably want to do as well so we'll say yes that's fine go ahead and open in full screen mode and this is the preview that your client would be looking at and I have mine set up where I have to manually change from one page to the next so as I hit my arrow keys you can see the layout changes and it's a real nice transition from spread to spread and as I reach the end I can go forward and backwards and this course this particular presentation only has three layouts so it really looks really nice and the way I've designed this I've designed it so that the file size is very small so if you took a 20 page album and you configured it the way I'm going to show you to configure it you're going to be looking at about a 1.5 megabyte PDF file which is easily emailed or easily downloaded from the web at only one and a half megabytes okay so what we have here of course we have an out, output preview window um, because as we make changes to this configuration we can preview live what those changes are so let me just kind of take us back to the, the very basics so when you first choose a template I'm going to choose maximum size template and then for our page preset we have a few options and I just chose the web option if you choose the web option you're limited to these particular sizes whereas if you choose the custom option then you're not limited to any specific size so it's really just a matter of personal preference really if we choose let's go back to the web option let's choose the 1024 by 768 and we'll just leave that the background can be white that's fine and then we just kind of continue on down we have lots of options so under layout here actually let's do a refresh preview let's see what we get just by making them those changes there okay so we see we have a little bit of margin on the left and right we have lots of margin at the top and bottom and then we also have what appears to be the file name of the actual uh, file that this represents 
So we just kind of move on down the line here. Now what I've done is under the Layout tab, I just like to remove the margins. Let's hit Refresh Preview. See what those changes did. So you can see now we have no margin at the left and right. We're still going to have a margin at the top and the bottom because the ratio of the output file, the 1024 by 768, is significantly different than our 10 by 20 ratio. So that's why there's a little bit of space at the top and bottom. Now I'm going to keep going here. Over, over the overlays option, I'm actually going to turn off the file name option. And I hit refresh preview. And you can see, of course, now we have no file name. So I might scroll back up here, and what I did was is I whittled down the height of this because we just have a bunch of leftover height at the top and bottom. So let's just whittle this down to, say, 600 pixels and hit Refresh Preview. That looks a little bit better. Now we don't have quite so much at the top and bottom. And you could keep on whittling this down to you just have your layout itself. But I kind of like the look of that, so I'm just going to leave it just the way it is and just keep on coming down the line and here's where it gets interesting is right here under the playback options so I'm going to choose the open in full screen mode automatic advance to the next image you could do that or not I don't like using that option because if I'm going to be looking at a layout some pages I might want to look at for longer than a predetermined time so I don't like to use that option but I do like to use this option loop after last page so once I get to the end of the album, if I hit the arrow key again, it'll just start me back at page one again. And then for the transition, I'm a big fan of the fade. Um, and, you know, you can try out all the different transitions. Once you've chosen a transition, that one drawback um, is that transition is for every page. Um, in other words, I can't have a transition fade on the first one and then on the next one choose a different transition like I could if I was using some kind of fancy slideshow application. I like to choose the slow option as far as the speed in which to make the transition. And that's it. Um, you know, there's other options here. Obviously, we could add a watermark. Um, there's, you know, there's other options here um, that you might want to explore. But those are the basic options. And then if I hit Refresh Preview, then of course we get to see uh, the finished product. And then I'll just go ahead and hit Save. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And let's just give it a name here. And we'll hit Save. And then once, once it's done saving, it'll open up that PDF that we just created. It gives us that warning about full screen mode. We'll just choose Yes. And then we have a really nice completed PDF uh, page here. Very easily to, to, to be able to view it. Um, so very, very nice and easy to use. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that. And that's just pretty much all there is to creating a PDF file um, that you can view. Now, I do have another one that I created. Um, and I wanted to show you give you an option here again full screen mode and this is the full screen mode of another option and so what I did was is I actually created a template um, this is like a little preview template um, and then I inserted my layouts into it and so you can see I have my my logo overlaid the top of my layouts which is kind of a neat effect and I have a nice little texture at the top and bottom and as I transition from one spread to the next notice that the only part that is transitioning is in the middle because the logo and the textures remain the same on every page you won't see any changes at the top and bottom or at the logo area just the spread in the middle and it really creates a nice little effect and so we actually have a separate video that shows you how we went about creating this template um, and so you're probably going to want to create your own preview template with your own studio logo, uh, maybe put the client name there, um, whatever, whatever options you might want to do. You can make it look however you want it to look and then be able to create your own custom uh, PDF viewer.
So it's really neat, if, really neat option uh, that's available to you right inside Adobe Bridge with Photoshop CS4 and CS5. And the same options are available to you in earlier versions of Photoshop, but you have to go to the File menu, to the Automate, and that's where you'll see the PDF presentation options. So I hope you found this enjoyable and you learned a little something. And give it a try, and I think you'll find that You'll be well on your way to creating some great looking PDF presentations for your clients. Thanks for watching.